Hi guys, it's Epitaph B, and today we're going to be talking about smart objects and smart filters. Okay, so basically what a smart object is, is a file inside of a PSD file that allows you to do non-destructive editing to images and allows you to preserve uh, Adobe RAW settings and open uh, Adobe Illustrator vector files as a vector instead of a rasterized layer. So, first thing we're going to talk about is uh, making an image a smart object. So, just open any image. Uh, I'm going to choose this one of Florence Welch. And uh, in order to make an object or a layer a smart object, you have to make sure it is a layer and not a background layer that's locked because it will not work. Okay, so once it's a layer, you simply right click and click convert to smart object you can also go to layer smart objects convert to smart object and there's also the new smart object via copy which creates a copy of your image and makes that a smart object if you wanted to do that so one of the things you can do with this when it's a smart object is you can transform it uh, such as height and width and preserve the integrity of the image without altering it as so like if the layer was rasterized you probably know that when you scale it down you cannot scale it back up without a distortion in quality it will become all blurry and or possibly pixelated and uh, that's really no good so this is a great way to start with a larger image and scale it down and if you decide later on you don't like the size and want to make it a little bigger you can do that without any loss in quality so I'm going to show you that right now so first let's rasterize the layer to show you how things would normally go you would uh, control T to free transform or edit transform free transform or scale uh, and then make sure this here is the maintain aspect ratio uh, maintain aspect ratio button make sure that's clicked because that will make sure there's no distortion in the image and so simply scale it down to whatever size you want and hit the check mark or hit enter and you'll see that looks you know that looks nice but when it's a rasterized layer if you try to scale it back up you will notice that it is going above it's been reset at 100% the new scale is 100% of you know what it is so when you scale up it's going above a hundred percent which is where your loss in quality is caught uh, is occurring so again make sure that's checked uh, and you'll see there is a loss in quality it's bl the image is blurry the quality is certainly not as good as it was before so let's go back in our history trail and after we converted the smart object now try it as a smart object You'll notice when you scale down, or when you free transform, there's this new X in there, and that's telling you it's a smart object transform. Uh, so let's scale it down, hit check the check mark, and go back to transform, and you'll notice that it still says it's at 48.73% of the image. So when you scale it back up, you can scale it back up to 100%. and the quality is exactly the same there's no distortion and it looks great so what you can also do is you can edit the contents of a smart object via a new window and how you do that is you double click on this thumbnail and it will ask you this and you hit OK and it is opened up in a new window and this is a PSB which is the file inside of the PSD file now you can also do this by going to layer smart objects edit contents but it's quicker to just double click the thumbnail so from here you can add adjustment layers like say I wanted to add a gradient map say I wanted to add uh, vibrancy uh, hmm. which won't do anything after <laughs> this black and white gradient map but uh, okay So I'm just making some simple adjustments. 
and it doesn't matter what they are for just explaining the purpose of this. Uh, so we've got something we like, and we will save it. And to, you save it just like you would any other file. It doesn't save. It saves inside the PSD. It doesn't save in any external place. Uh, so you simply save it, and you'll notice it's changed in the original file too. And so let's say you close this, and you make, uh, you know, you do whatever you make adjustments. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. You, uh, and you want to go back and change something to alter this original image. You just double click it again, open it, and you can turn off these adjustment layers. And you can save it again, close it, and you'll notice the ch changes are made right here, right in the original PSD file. So, and then if you double click it again, the layers that you turned off will still be there and you can make any kind of adjustments like this and another great feature is if you duplicate the layer you can uh, you know uh, sharpen dodge you know whatever you want to do this is just basic examples and you save it and it makes the changes in the original file so uh, yeah so this is a great way to uh, edit the contents of an image without destroying the, the image itself and you can alter it later and uh, make any changes you want. Now another great thing about smart objects is the ability to add smart filters and what this means is any filter you add with the exception of liquify, vanishing point and that kind of thing uh, is you are able to add any kind of filter and have control over it unlike you would with the rasterize layer. So say I wanted to sharpen it. It appears here in this sub layer for smart filters. And you'll see you can turn off the filter if you decide you don't like it. You can also stack filters like uh, say I wanted to add a dis diffuse low. Uh, Okay, so we've added another effect and decide you don't like that later. So you can turn it off or by double clicking this, you can change the blending of the filter and the opacity, which is just like fading it. So that's, a, and if you'll open it again, you'll see it's exactly the same. So if you decide you don't like it, you can turn it off like I just said, and that's or you can turn off all by toggling the smart filters thing uh, just like you would a layer. So that's a great benefit of smart objects because you can't do that with the rasterize layer. Okay. If you decide for some reason you want to save the contents of your smart object externally f with outside of your actual project file, you can go to uh, layer smart objects oh I'm sorry in the original file on with your smart layer selected smart objects selected layer smart objects export contents or replace contents with another file so what this will do is you if you export it it saves it as a PSB uh, externally in whatever folder you choose and you can also replace the contents of a smart object later by going to smart object replace contents and choosing a PSP file. Uh, and that's a great benefit. Uh, 